What's up everybody? Welcome back to another uh, tutorial video. In my last tutorial video, I changed some textures on some lights and a few of you said that you wanted to see what it looked like to the, oh, excuse me, sorry, to change the actual colors of the lights through paint.net. So what I do is in the uh, YTD file, which I've already done it, is extract them. You just select it and export it to desktop. And I'm working on putting a new CVPI in for Chicago. One that actually has a removable front bumper. I don't know if it'll have Coronas though, so we'll have to see. Um, so you just uh, click it and extract it. See like this, I'm going to change this to blue because I don't want yellow lights because Chicago doesn't have any yellow lights. I'm going to change this to all blue so the top of the light bar is blue. So... Some of these have already been done, like this one. These are all on my desktop already. So I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to take right click, open with paint.net, and then here's the texture. Now with paint.net, it's pretty simple. You just grab this little tool right here, highlight the blue. And then copy, paste and just slide it over top of it. It is literally that simple. All right, and then hit enter. Now I'll usually, just to be on the safe side, grab all of this too. I copy, paste, slide it over. If it doesn't cover all the way, no big deal, just drag it down. Done. And then we'll go up here and we'll do this little ball. I don't know if you have to do this or not, but I always do. Just grab the ball, copy, paste, and then drag it till it's relatively close. And that's it. And then when you're done, file, save as. Make sure you save it as a PNG to your desktop. And there you go. And then we'll do one, we'll do another one. That I already have in here. I might do a few of them. So we're just going to copy the blue. You're going to copy, paste, and slide it on over. And you can hit paste again. And if it's bigger than the one you're putting in, that's no problem. Just resize it. And then because that one's the same size as that, we're going to hit copy, paste, drag it straight down on top. And then make it the right size. Done. Those are already done. And on this, if you hold uh, left control and move the wheel, the mouse, you can zoom in and out. All right, then we're going to hit file, save as PNG, save. Okay, then back to desktop and see. So this one's done, this one's done. Let's do this one. Open with paint.net. And you may even, if you want that particular pattern, if you have it in another one, you can go ahead and take it out of there, which I don't. So grab a little select tool. Copy, paste, drag it right on top. Paste again, which I don't, know, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave the white light. So there we go. Because this isn't for the actual light bar. I believe it's for the ions on the front. <sighs> so file, save as, PNG, save, done. Then we'll go back to the desktop and we'll find another one. Uh, this one. Open with paint.net. Now in this one here, we want the whole light bar, the top of the light bar to be blue, like Chicago does. So, we're just going to grab this. And copy, paste, and slide it over. Actually, I don't want to do it that way. Let's just hit undo. 
and we use this tool and it allows us to move this and I'll show you why in a minute copy paste see now I won't have that black bar It'll connect right into it make it look like one fluid piece then just drag that over it doesn't have to be lined up perfectly but it will because I'm anal that way and that's it for that so file save as PNG save and one of your videos is done okay back out uh, let's see that one's done done that's an old one done done all right everything looks done except for the windows I gotta do this now I'll go ahead and show you how to do these too. Open this up with paint.net. Now because the car originally said uh, transit police on it for BC Canada, all we're going to do is you're going to grab this. Don't just try to delete that because it will delete the transparency which you have to have or your windows will have a big black spot in the middle of it. So you're going to do copy, paste, and enter. File, save as, and you're starting to see a pattern. <laughs> back to desktop because I know I got one more which is this one open with paint.net and same thing copy paste paste enter file save as PNG and now they're all done so now we'll go back to the uh, YTD files. Like I said, I had most of them already, but there were a few of them I wanted to change, so I figured I'd make a quick video real quick, show you guys how to do that since a few of you have asked. And yeah, where did it go? All right, so we know we want to change this one, CV Windows, so replace. And desktop, the name is important because they're all going to be down here. So CV Windows, and make sure you click the one that's for PNG, not Paint.net. So that should look identical, except now it's not clear, or now it's clear. All right, so now we want to change Emergency Lights too. And where did it go? Emergency Lights two. Everything's blue, and this one's going to be Emergency Lights five. Right there. And we're going to change this one. And that is called Emergency Lights FS Legend. That one. And we're going to change the uh, Valor one. I've done this a time or two. Those are all blue. That's all blue. Oh, did I miss one? I did miss one. Well, would you look at that? Hot damn. <laughs> Alright, so, you're going to click it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Click it. No, don't do that. Export selected. Desktop. And poof, popped up right there. Now, right click on that. Open with. Paint.net. And then this process is exactly the same. Except this time, I'm going to copy both of these. And copy, paste and then just drag it right down on top if it don't line up perfectly not a big deal you just stretch it out a little bit done and we'll come over here and we'll grab this one and copy paste slide it right on top and paste and slide it right up there if you make them too big or too small it'll look funny in the car I promise you and you can see how that's weird so all you do is you can grab the little paintbrush make it a little bigger size make sure you're on black or whatever color this is and there we go file 
save as, PNG, save, OK, back out, and then replace, and fed stick, and now poof, all blue. And then we're going to hit save. Hopefully something doesn't mess up, make me look like an idiot. And I'm going to... Alright, see so now I have somewhere... Uh, all blue lights file. And then I'm going to take all these that I just made and put them in there. And compare both. I always keep both because I may want to go back to one day. See, I've, I do this because I don't ever really want to have to go into paint.net all the time. Sometimes you kind of have to just because it's a new... Oh, forgot one. And inside that folder, we'll put this folder and this folder because this is all, the, all my lights files. See, I've already got most of them already done. And now with those other folders in here, I got one for Tahoe. Red and blues, if I want red and blues, then a red and blue part two. Um, so we've got everything. And my daughter's yelling in the background at the dog. Wonderful. So we'll go back into Open IV and we'll hit here. And we'll just double check that it worked. The main way to look is to look at the top of the light bar. It is all blue. And it still says Transit Police on the back of that window. Did I put the wrong one back in? Oh, I'll bet I know why. No, because this one doesn't have a high YTD file. Maybe I didn't put the right one in. Or there's another one that I missed. Mm, that's the one. Hmm. That's odd. Oh, there is another one right there. Where did I change that one? I'm pretty sure I changed it. So let's hit replace again. We'll go to the all blue lights files. We'll go out of the bottom. So I'm pretty sure I changed that one. Yeah, right there. We just forgot to put that one in. It happens. If my daughter slams the door one more time. Alright, YFT. So, that's it. That's how you change the uh, colors. Uh, one reason I'm switching to this car is because I can do the top of the light bar blue and it looks better. And the ram bar can come off because somebody decided they wanted to gripe about the ram bar in a Chicago police car. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys.